Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use um, the sum function in PySpark, or basically how to calculate the sum of a column in PySpark, which is one of the aggregate functions available to us with PySpark. So let's dive into the demo. As you can see, I've got my PySpark um, uh, Databricks Community Edition open up here. I've got a video which I link to in the top right hand corner of your screen which shows you how to set up your Databricks Community Edition so you can use PySpark for free. Uh, but coming to the demo, so what I've done here is basically I've just imported some uh, sample CSV data into a data frame and I've just displayed it so you can understand. We've got an ID, first name, email, gender and salary. So basically we, we, we want to calculate the sum of the salaries, all right? So which is a good example of using a uh, aggregate function like the sum. So what I first need to do is, uh, since it's imported from a uh, from a CSV, it's going to be write as strings in Databricks. So I'm just casting them first to integers. Now once we have the column which we want to perform the sum uh, function on uh, in an integer form, then we can uh, begin. So how we basically do that is, we just have to either create an, uh, uh, use a select command to uh, uh, to begin the query and then inside that we can use the sum function and then within the brackets after the sum function in double quotes you can specify the column name for which you want to calculate the sum in this case it's salary and hence we've added salary there and then you can just do a dot display or a dot show with the truncate equals to false depending on which one you provide prefer the dot display in databricks so that's what I'm going to do so when that runs that's what is um, we get the sum of the data but something which is very important for you guys to remember is that whenever we use the sum function we need to import uh, from pyspark.sql.functions import sum all right sometimes it can throw an error if you don't import sum so remember to always import the sum function from pyspark.sql.function before you import sum i had done it earlier so i didn't show it in this case but yeah that's how we do it um, in PySpark. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment and hit the bell icon and I'll see you guys in the next one.